Gotta spend all day two grand twenty-five. You don't even down three, see three. I'm in the middle of the lane. At the Silver Cup yearling sale in the Arapaho Park stable area with Eric Johnson, an Olympic medalist in ice hockey for the USA, an all-star defenseman for the Colorado Avalanche, scouting hockey players, scouting horses. You, you were a number one draft pick in 2006. Now, 10 years later, you're the one who's doing some scouting. What do you look for at a horse sale to potentially get a good racehorse? Yeah, I, I love horses. I think it's a lot of fun. and. Uh, own uh, quite a few out in California with uh, Doug O'Neill and Bob Baffert. So um, Denver's my home year round, and um, I've kind of learned a little bit just going to the sales with Dennis O'Neill, who, who buys all the two-year-olds for Doug, and um, kind of like to learn a little bit about the confirmation and the pedigree and all that. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to come out here and um, kind of just uh, see what uh, the Colorado breads have to offer. So the local racetrack, Arapaho Park. You're from Minnesota. Did, did you get into racing early on, perhaps at Canterbury Park? How did you get into horse racing? Uh, I like to watch races at Canterbury. I loved watching all the Triple Crown races as a kid. Uh, when I really got in it um, was when Animal Kingdom won the Kentucky Derby. It's now Animal Kingdom on the outside who goes to lead for John Velasquez and he's going clear by two lengths and running to the line. Animal Kingdom wins the Derby. You know, it was his first start on dirt and then he, he won the Derby, I think 21 to one or something like that. And I had a wager on him. So I kind of fell in love with it after that and always tried to find a way to get into the game and um, got hooked up with, uh, with Dennis O'Neill and um, Paul Redham who, who owned Nyquist and we own a couple horses together. And I just kind of got into it from there, own a couple of weanlings, a couple of broodmares and uh, about uh, a piece of, you know, half a dozen two-year-olds in, in training right now. And it's a ton of fun. It's a great game. And uh, I want to support the Colorado Reds best I can. The Chestnut Philly Fold, March 27th, 2015. Oh, hit number 22 now. I'll tell you what, gentlemen, looky here. This is more than just going to the races. What made you want to get involved in it from the ownership side? It's a lot of fun. I mean, uh, it's kind of like owning a sports team a little bit. You own a piece of a horse, and just that feeling of the horse coming to the top of the stretch and the leader with a chance to win is is like nothing else. And it's uh, it's just such a rush. It's, it's so much fun, and I love the pedigree side of it. I love... Uh, you know, just everything about the game is so much fun for me. And, um, you know, you really appreciate how much these horses are really athletes and the jockeys that ride them. It's, uh, it's a very cool sport and something you have to appreciate. And uh, I brought a couple of buddies with me today just to kind of get a feel for everything as in a smaller scale at the auction. Um, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, um, you know, this will be, if I hit this yearling that I want to buy today, it'll be my first Colorado bread, and I want to support uh, the program as best I can. The horse you have, Cross Check Carlos, I was looking through the records. Was this the first time you, you've had a stakes horse? Yeah. Yeah, it's my first stakes horse. I've been in the game just a little over 18 months and kind of got in as a, uh, at a smaller scale last year. Dennis O'Neill bought me a couple two-year-olds and um, I, uh, I have a piece of uh, Crosscheck Carlos who uh, we paid 37 for at OBS March and he's already earned 80,000, won a stake, broke his maiden first time out at Santa Anita and um, right now I think we're going to ship him into the, the Gold Rush Futurity next Sunday and uh, he should be looking good. He's trading great. He's uh, you know, he's really handled everything well for a two-year-old. We, we, uh, we flew him from, uh, from uh, L.A. to Lexington, vanned him down to Evangeline. Uh, one in the slop there by a head, and then we shipped him back. He's trained great. We're going to ship him out here, and uh, all signs point to uh, him firing, uh, hopefully going three for three. Cross check Carlos Street on her right down to the line. They come photo. The name Cross Check Carlos, where does it come from? Yeah, so he's by custom for Carlos. Uh, he's by more than ready, and uh, I wanted to have a little bit of a hockey flavor playing for the Avalanche, so uh, we threw Cross Check in there, and we left Carlos in there, and, uh, you know, he's. Uh, He's a really cool horse. I mean, he's he's already doubled uh, what we paid for him and uh, just a super neat horse. We tried to sell him at the Barrett's Paddock sale. It didn't hit his reserve, but we're happy to keep him and, and run him in the gold rush here, maybe the, the low sale futurity in September. And uh, just, a, just a neat horse all around. And, uh, you know, we were happy to, to keep him and uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, win the gold rush next weekend. Now the trainer that you were with in California, Doug O'Neill, you said you're friends with uh, J. Paul Redham. There, there was a hockey-themed name horse winning the Kentucky Derby, Nyquist. Did, did you have anything to do, perhaps, with 
influencing the name just because uh, you do know them? A little bit. Uh, you know, me and Paul, uh, we had a horse named Where's the D after Where's the Defense sure. to make fun of me. Where, where, <laughs> where, where's the D being out of position? We had uh, Mr. Game 7, uh, obviously being a, trying to be a clutch horse. He was only a 20 claimer for us. And then uh, Nyquist, he just kind of named uh, to give me crap because he's a big Red Wings fan. And the Red Wings avalanche uh, rivalry is pretty heated. So, um, uh, we, we had those three together, and then uh, we had one more that we bought at uh, the Miami sale at Facing Tipton. We named Tap it all. She's uh, yet to break her maiden, but we hope she can soon. Well, I think I know what you need to do. He, he won with the Red Wings horse in the Kentucky Derby, Nyquist. Now you're just going to have to win the Kentucky Derby next year with Crosscheck Carlos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hopefully he can be that horse. and. Another sad part to that story is he offered me 10% of the Uncle Mo that he bought for 400000 last year. And he said, why don't you take 10% for $40,000? i am like, ah, a little too steep for me right now. That turned out to be Nyquist, so I'm kicking myself for turning down that offer. Hey, you know what they say, it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish the race. Exactly, exactly. So it might start with a, a yearling here, a Colorado bred. Hey, now, 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 Bill, can I sell your horse? 85. It's going to be the next horse sold. 9,000. I didn't buy down nine. Where nine here? Did he buy all day and all done? Did he buy down nine? Now nine. Did he ding ding down nine? I sold the horse way in the back for $8,500. The competitive side of horse racing and the competitive side of hockey, how do you compare them? Uh, it's pretty similar. I mean, uh, just the competitive juices that get flowing when you see your horse at the top of the stretch with a chance to make the uh, make the lead and get a win is is like none other and uh you know a hockey game is very intense as well so um it's cool to kind of get into the horse racing game it's uh it's very cool it's a lot of fun it's very competitive and uh you know it's uh it's kind of a team game with the trainer the assistant the groom the exercise rider the jockey the owner everyone kind of works in tandem so it's a lot of fun and i've really enjoyed being a part of it Thank you. Well, it's great to have you at the Silver Cup sale. It's great to have you at Arapahoe Park, and best of luck on this journey that it seems to be going very well. Thank you. Hopefully we buy the next Colorado Red Champ here. We'll see. Give him a round of applause. Buyer number is going to be...